This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com forward slash forge for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Welcome back to another video here at East Coast Casting. It's a proper industrial foundry. There's been a foundry on this site since 1786. And today we're gonna see and observe how they cast this absolutely gigantic 300 kilo gear that fits inside this. Right here on the floor, this is the top part of the mold that creates the sand that allows them to cast it. It's made out of wood and this is effectively the pattern and within this are the channels through which the molten iron will flow and every single thing that gets cast here needs a pattern just like this from which to form the sand. So sand is an incredibly important thing for their business here and there's 25 tons of it in that silo and a delivery of it just got delivered today and it then gets pumped down into these arms right here that allow them to have sand on tap and do everything they need to do. And when it all gets used up, as we told you in the last episode, they can then break up the old sand and reuse as much of it as possible. So he's progressively, little bit by little bit, he's putting the sand in, raking it down and standing on it to compact it as much as possible. This sand gets mixed with a resin and it means that in about an hour, it'll cure up and get hard, hard enough that he can pick it up with the steel anchors in that frame that he put in it and lift it up and manipulate it around the workshop without it falling apart, which is pretty wild because that is soft sand right now and very soon it's gonna be very hard. So is the coating to it help the sand give stay you, together or to no, not stick? It gives you a better finish on better the finish. mold. Okay. So that's, so that's it smooths the smooth. So when the metal goes in there, it will, it will stop the metal penetrating into the sand. Brilliant. So it gives you a better finish on the casting. So this is the sand lid of this gigantic mold right here. He's lifting it up and what he's going to do is he's going to put another coating on that so that you have a cleaner finish on the finished wheel. But what I can't believe is that sand is hard enough that he can pick it up from two anchor points. So the raw material for actually pouring that cast iron are these pig iron blanks. They get loaded into the furnace, 850 kilos of that gets loaded into the furnace, and in the space of an hour, it heats up to 1500 degrees. So as we explained in the last episode, these furnaces run off induction. So there's a coil around the crucible, and that is heating up the metal. That coil is water-cooled, and it's just like the induction forges that you saw me play with at Nigel Barnett's workshop last year. It is completely wild to see this in person. As soon as the molten metal starts flowing, everything goes quiet. And it is this peaceful, beautiful, captivating moment as it fills the casting 
and this 25 minutes on is still orange hot and they're not going to be able to break this apart until the next morning. That's how much heat this is going to have and how long it'll be until it's cool. And even then it's not going to be all the way cool. You see they load it up with all of these weights, each one 25 kilos mind you, because the sheer pressure of all that molten metal would otherwise lift up that sand top. There's so much weight in that crucible, they can't just tip it by hand. They have it on a gear right here, so they spin this a bunch of times for the crucible to just spin a little bit. Mechanical advantage. Everything in this workshop is so practical. And what I'm seeing as these guys are working is there isn't a wasted moment. Though they've just poured a bunch of castings, everybody's straight back to work, working on creating another mold, preparing for more castings. It is an incredible, completely chaotic, but perfectly orchestrated choreography of work in here. So we won't be able to see this fully broken apart, but we can show you one they poured yesterday. And there it is, that's the final wheel as it comes out of the casting. It's in the fettling shop. You can see they've cut off these feeder portions that are designed into it. The metal flowed through here, came around, and that's it, it's huge. 300 kilos of cast iron, but there's still a lot of work to be done in this fettling shop on it. So as you saw in the last video, here in the finishing shop, they're using 9-inch electric angle grinders on a variable frequency drive so they can get the speeds right. They cut off all the excess, grind them up clean, and then it's either on to machining or straight to the final customer. Chris, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you coming. No, you're more than welcome. I hope that all of you guys watching go follow East Coast Casting on Instagram. Appreciate that. And if you need some British made cast steel, iron, and all of it, aluminium, everything. East Coast Casting are your people. Thank, thank you so you. much, Chris. Thank you. See you soon. Cheers. There we go. Thank you. We love visiting workshops. We love seeing the incredible thing that incredible people are making absolutely everywhere. And we love it so much that we are planning for a little tour of Europe along this route in early 2022. We want to visit blacksmith workshops, bladesmith workshops, any sort of craft workshop that is interesting, whether it's a boat builder, a machinist, a glass blower, or a potter. We want to go see awesome workshops, learn about interesting techniques and processes, and share it with the world here on YouTube. You can find out more and let us know if you'd be willing to participate by checking out the form that's on my website. And that website is conveniently built using the incredible platform that belongs to our sponsor, Squarespace. It's an all in one platform with no patches, fixes, or upgrades ever, and is flexible for all sorts of website types. Whether you want to have an e-commerce store and sell unlimited products, whether you want to sell bookings for consults using Squarespace's scheduling feature, whether you want to sell digital products, or access to members-only content, you can do it with Squarespace. And it's oh so clean and oh so beautiful because they've got tons of themes to choose from. They scale beautifully from mobile to computer. And within it, you can even buy your domain and manage your email marketing campaigns. It is phenomenal. And if you do not have a Squarespace website and you are running a business or trying to grow a hobby into a jobby, you're missing out. So please go to squarespace.com forward slash forge. You'll get a free trial and you'll also get 10% off your first purchase by using code forge at checkout. Thank you all for watching. Massive thank you to East Coast Foundry for letting us be there for the day. Please also check them out in the descriptions. We'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.